the greatest team ever, Cork. The greatest team ever. Forget 90 Syracuse. You're going to hear it now. No more rat poison. It is a wonderful afternoon. Hartford, Maryland wins the national championship. We've been waiting a long time. But Bruce, man, this really must be something for you. I was here a year ago today. It broke my heart. But you know what? Sometimes the Lord has a message for you. And it was to hang in there and fight and come back. And they completed the impossible in 2022. Undefeated. I don't care who's the best team ever. Undefeated. Unscathed. What a year. Go ahead, man. Hi, I'm Merlin wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. What's up, baby? Hey, Come on, dog. Hey. Did you hear them chanting Bubba Fairman as you uh, ran off the field? Yeah, that was my brother started that, that, that so was, it's not that special. Oh, it is that special. That was an amazing defensive play down on this side. Give me 10 seconds on that goal of a lifetime from the last game. Oh, I mean, I just I just ran as fast as I could, hoped the ball would go in, and, you know, fortunately it did. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you. Thank you. Back on the field after the press conferences, Maryland wins 9-7. to Game was a little closer than I thought it was going to be. Got really dicey there at the end. Before we get into our game analysis, I want to thank Maryland for all of the access that we've had all year. As usual, it is a team that we feel very close to. We want to thank the guys in charge for that. Mason, what did you see defensively there at the end? They got Maryland to win. Yeah, just holding on, uh, continuing to make timely plays. Uh, a couple steals from Logan McNaney. Just when it really mattered, Maryland just made the next play. It wasn't a perfect game. It might have been their worst the entire year, but they were there when it mattered. The guys that were injured just kept playing hard, and you heard the coaches talk about it. It's tough. It's a tough turnaround uh, coming from playing late Saturday to playing early Monday, but guys just made it happen. They truly showed today why they're the best, why they're going to be considered the best of all time. Okay, so okay. five quick things. Number one, I was shocked that the team came out an hour before game time and worked their butts off in this heat. Cornell never came out. Did you notice that? Cornell was out a little earlier. Cornell was out here, maybe not at the same level. Not even Maryland. near, not even near the amount of time. That's number one. Number two, props to Alex Smith. A lot was on his plate today because number eight all right, was in and out. And Alex had to pick up the slack, and he was great. That's number 39, Alex right. Smith. What up, Smith? Mitty. And heading to Goldman Sachs. All right, he told me that the day after the game, which was great. Number two, Logan was now since number three. Two goals, two assists. I mean, it didn't seem like he was in the plate and so timely. In other words, he's so timely, it's unbelievable. Number four, Luke Wehrman, a slow start. We don't know why. But then, it's funny. The first half, he lost the face-offs, and we were blowing him out. The second half, he won every face-off, but it was those errors, 21 turnovers. Well, look, Cornell can so ride, baby. Listen, they were very lucky to get away with this game, committing 21 turnovers. And now the last thing I want to say, this game reminds me of the Ohio State game. Maryland got on top. They were up nine to three or something. Ohio State came. Talking about the championship game. Championship game. I'm sorry. They came back. Final score was almost the same thing, and you know, one final face-off kind of put it to sleep. But it was very, very similar and eerie. And I have to tell you, when it comes to watching sports, I'm as happy as I can be. I've been to Ravens Super Bowls. I've been to Orioles World Series when they won. I'm happier for this one than even 2017. All that kind of got the old thing off our back. But this one, man, undefeated. And yo, we're not talking about it yet. I am undefeated in 2022. It hasn't happened since 2006. It's so tough to do today. How do you guys feel about it? I like 
you know, I'll go contrary to that, that the championship before 2017 was something that ended a very long streak for Maryland. This was special. I've thought this is the best team I've seen. This is still the best team I've seen. They haven't been the, as proficient or effective the past few games. A lot more turnovers here in Hartford than we saw earlier in the season. It, it's a huge win, and it's still the greatest team I've ever seen. Mason? Yeah, I think that when you look at it, you almost throw all that stuff away today. That's not what it's about. They won today. That's all they can do. They can't go back and they can't beat Virginia from 2006. They can't go play Syracuse from the 70s. 90, they, could only, they could only win today and they did that. Agreed. And that's and, why the Rat Toys will be thrown out of the locker room, for sure. Okay. And I think Wisnowskis really won Maryland yeah. the game, but not by scoring. That there ground, were two ground oh, yeah. balls in this game that he won when there were just clears that Maryland just dumped the ball down there and Logan Wisnowskis went and got the ball. Toughness at every level. There is no weakness on this team. And it showed when all Americans were hurt today, when they were a little bit banged up, next guy stepped up and made the play. And this team, you talk about, you know, what they talked a little bit about what it means to them, what Maryland does for these kids' lives, what they, how they hold kids accountable. And that's really what's important, that Maryland lacrosse sets these kids up for success. They show them how hard work. But it today, it pays off. today it paid off. It hasn't paid off for other teams that have been really, really good, but this team truly was the best. And, and I think it solidifies Coach Gilman for the Hall of Fame. Um, yeah, all you could do was win today. And legend, the and that being a legend, legend too. There was a moment, it must have been in the fourth quarter, I turned to you and said, we got a few minutes left of this team and how important for these guys. They've been here a long time. And you look at Logan, uh, Wisnowskis especially. That this is it, the last few minutes are gonna be on the field. And it did get to me a bit as it closed out. I'll let you, the legend of Bruce Bosco at Westport, Paul Clark and Taylor said it best. You know, I really like Clark. I pick him up a lot with Syracuse. I know he'll be good when Syracuse comes back as they inevitably will. But Paul Clark and Taylor, from what I understand, said something on TV today, that Maryland is now the Alabama of lacrosse. They are the gold standard. They are what everybody compares themselves to. And we can see it on our website, Wayne. Like 10,000 views on our Maryland-Virginia game. All right, 10,000 views. It's almost impossible to accumulate that many in, in, a, in a lacrosse game. But we had it. And I don't know what it'll be today. I don't know what our post games and everything will be today. But Maryland is it. Maryland is the team. And it's going to stay that way for a while with John Tillman at the helm. Hey, you guys have been unbelievable. i got to thank you. You guys have been unbelievable. Are you going to put that book together? Well, we might have a book, but uh, I do want to say, even though this is Hartford, uh, goodbye and good evening from the lacrosse capital of the world. One last College question. Park. One yes. last question. Are you glad that I got you interested in lacrosse? Yeah, it's worked out. <laughs> thank you, Bruce. Good afternoon from Hartford.